Okay, getting my screen set up. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. All right, I see some yeses. Okay, great, great. Lolly says yes. Air Lady says yes. Good, good, good. Saima says yes. Thank you so much. All right, Harry is in the house. Nice, nice. Sims is here. Hello, Sims. Kadeen says yes. Thank you very much. Great to hear from all of you. Okay. Thank you, Harry. Alice, thank you. Samuel, hello. Wafa, thank you. Samuel, thank you. Marion, hello, Marion. Okay. Good to see everyone. I'm happy. I hope you are happy too. And um, also, I hope you are ready to practice your English with me. Thank you very much, Lolly. Lolly says she loves my shirt. <laughs> Rajay, hello, hello. Okay, good, good. All right, well, um, let's get right into it, shall we? Yes, we will be here for two hours. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice with your English with me. And of course, in the chat. And one thing about the chat, only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots and the, the spamming out because we want a safe and um, in, we want a safe place for us to practice English, right? And so we don't need the bots. We don't need the spamming. No, that doesn't make a good chat. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Spamming and chat do not belong in our chat. No. So only subscribers can be here. So if you want to chat with us, no problem. Just subscribe to my channel and you can get into the chat and you can practice with us. Yes, you can. Okay, well, um, hey, Tina's here. Hello, Tina. Marion's here. Hello, Marion. <clears throat> I think I said hello to Marion already. <laughs> okay. Uh, Faha, hello. Well, um, we're going to be for two hours, like I said, and we always have a toast for good luck, right? We're, we always start with a toast. So let's do that. So whatever you're drinking, please pick it up for whatever you Pick up whatever you are drinking for our toast. We will have two toasts. Lama, hello, Lama. We will have two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. Yes, they're members of the channel. You see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers bump cheers and because we had a toast we have to have a drink bottoms up mm. now for our second toast it's for you yes without you there's no reason for me to be here so let's toast to you let's toast a fun interesting informative and productive lesson today cheers bump cheers bump and because we had a toast we have to have a drink bottoms up mm. All right, that was our toast for good luck. So we're going to have good luck today for sure, right? <laughs> because we had a toast. Because we had a toast, we got to have good luck for sure, for sure. Okay, now um, we're going to be here for two hours, like I said. So um, it seems like a long time, but it's really not. It goes by very quickly. We're, we are always battling against time, yeah? So um, here is today's lesson plan. We have five activities. We're going to um, form a sentence. I'm going to give you a pattern, and you're going to write a sentence based on the pattern. And we did this on Tuesday, so this is a review from Tuesday, this pattern, all right? This sentence is a review from Tuesday. Then we're going to do which one is different, and the topic is children. So I'm going to give you four items, and you're going to tell me which of those four is different and why. Then we're going to do a conversation from my book. 
Then we're going to do a worksheet and we're going to practice an idiom called fall in love. And the, we have examples written by the green team. Yes, the members of the channel have written example sentences. So we will look at their examples and then you will write your own sentences based on the idiom fall in love. Then we will watch a video of, of 10 very short conversations. We will watch the video and then practice the language in the video. Okay, so we're going to be busy and we're going to do lots of things. So I hope um, you are ready to practice with us and of course with the chat. Okay, so let's get right into it, shall we? Here we go. Number one, I'm going to write number one. And number one is form a sentence. Form a sentence. Whoops. That's not a very good, that almost looks like an F. <laughs> that should be an S, not an F. There we go. Okay, form a sentence. And our sentence is, if I had more free time, if I had more free time, I would, okay, what would you do? If I had more free time, I would. So in the chat, I want to see your sentence based on this pattern. If I had more free time, I would. Troublemaker is here. Hello, Troublemaker. Marcos is here. Hello, Marcos. Tamara. Hello, Tamara. Okay, Maria is here. Hello, Maria. Umesh is here. Hello, Umesh. Jihad is here. Hello. Okay, Lolly is on the board. Lolly's sentence is, if I had more free time and more money, I would go to Japan to visit Mark. Thank you. Mwah. Lolly, you are invited anytime. You are invited anytime. Mikasa is sukasa. <laughs> Marcos says, if I had more free time, I would play the guitar more and more. Nice, nice. The big boss music. Hello. <laughs> Saja, hello, Morocco. Tekle, hello. Okay, Umesh says, if I had more free time, I would play cricket. Alice says, if I had more free time, I would, um, I would exercise more often. How about that, Alice? I would exercise more often if I had more free time. I would, act, I would exercise more often. How about this? Sim says, if I had f more free time, I would practice sewing, sewing clothes. If I had more free time, I would sew clothes, maybe. Samuel, if I had more free time, I would learn another language. Very good. Air Lady says, if I had more free time, I would like to study. Good, good. If I had more free time, I would like to study, to study. Anytime, Lolly. Anytime. Come on. Saima, if I had more free time, I would learn English. Well, that's what you're doing now. We are practicing English right now, Saima. Amna, hello. Kadeen says, if I had more free time, I would study Italian more. Oh, well, Lolly's studying Italian, Katie, so maybe you and Lolly could get together to practice your Italian. Rajay says, if I had more free time, I would learn English. I would learn English. I would, I would study English more often. How about that? I would study English more often because that's what we're doing now. We are um, practicing English. Okay, Lope says, I would play soccer. Okay, Deepak says, if I had more free time, I would help poor people. Oh, Deepak. Very nice. Maria, hello. 
Gabra. Troublemaker says, if I had more free time, I would like to learn English. Well, that's what we're doing now, Troublemaker. That's what you are doing now. Lolly says, if I had more free time, I would learn a lot of languages and travel around the world. Whoa, that's that is nice. That would be that would be nice. That would be nice. One more time. Lolly says, if I had more free time, I would learn a lot of languages and travel around the world. Marco says, I'd study another language, maybe German. Okay. Alice says, if I had more free time, I would exercise more often. Nice, Alice. Umesh says, if I had more free time and money, I would travel around the world. Yeah, money is important, right? <laughs> you need both. Free time and money really to um, enjoy life, right? You need both. <laughs> Tina says, if I had more free time, I would play more video games. Oh, Tina. Maybe you already do play a lot of video games because you're a kid. Kids have free time, yeah? Don't they? Don't kids have free time? I did when I was a kid. <laughs> When I was a kid, I had free time. Okay, Rajay says, if I had more free time, I would visit my parents. Marta says, if I had more free time, I would teach my grandson Spanish. Oh, muy bien, Marta. <laughs> Ana says, if I had more free time, I could learn more and more. Of yes, Ana, of course. Ana Rocha de Sevilla, 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 Silva, Silva. Oh God, I can't believe it. Silva. Ana Rocha de Silva. I like that name. It goes, it, it it rolls off the tongue very nicely. Ana Rocha de Silva. Ana Rocha de Silva. I like the, I like your name. Very, it's a beautiful name, Rosa. Beautiful name. Umesh. If I had more free time, I would practice more English. Nice. Saima, if I had more free time, I would visit the countryside. Okay, Saima, the countryside. Okay, Alice, if I had more free time and there were no viruses, I would visit Mark in Japan. Thank you, Alice. Yeah, so how about this? If I had more free time and there were no viruses, there were no viruses. Now there's the monkey pox now. Oh boy, what's going on today? First we had COVID and now we got the monkey pox. What's happening? <laughs> Marion says, if I had more free time, I would organize a picnic with friends. Nice, Marion. Okay, Faduma. If I had more free time, I would go outside with my family more. Nice. Okay, Umesh, if I had more free time, I would watch YouTube. Well, you're doing that right now. Samuel, if I had more free time, I would travel to Italy. Yeah, Italy, I want to see Italy. Me too. Okay, Learner says, if I had more free time, I would visit my friend. Be happy is here. Hello, be happy. Wafa says, if I had more free time, I would like to learn English and illustrations. Good, good, good. Tina, what do you mean? Yes and why not? I'm not sure what you mean, Tina. One more time, Tina. What do you mean? Okay, Umesh, if I had more free time, I would teach my niece physics. Whoa. Physics, physics is difficult. Yeah. Lolly says, if I had more free time, I would see my friends more often. Nice. Marcos Silva. We got a couple of Silvas here. Marco says, if I had more free time, I'd be able to stay with you guys longer. Yeah, Marcos. I think Marcos is working right now, perhaps. So Marcos is, comes in and has to go, comes in, has to go, depending on his work. Yeah. Nada, if I had more free time, I would do what I can't do when I hadn't 
more free time. <laughs> Not that, yes, I would do what I normally can't do. Or no, no, I would, yeah, I would do what I normally can't do. I would do what I normally can't do. Almost said my name correctly. Almost. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. One more time. Ana Rocha de Silva. Ana Rocha de Silva. Maybe the pronunciation is wrong. But I like it. I like your name, Ana. It's nice. Okay. Oh, is this condition? Yeah, conditional, right? I would. That's, that's right, Umesh. It's the conditional form. I would. Okay. So the if and I would, right? Okay, Deepak, if I had more free time, I would learn Vedic culture because this is the oldest book in the world, okay? Be happy if I had more free time, I would practice a sport, good. Or not practice a sport, like, okay, I would practice tennis, but when you say a sport, I'm thinking that you don't do it yet, so you would say, if I had more free time, I would take up a sport. I would take up a sport. That reminds me, on Tuesday, we, we did this, yeah, take up, right? That's a nice um, way to say something new, take up. Do, do something new, right? If I had more free time, I would take up a sport, okay? I would take up a language, right? This is something you would do new, right? Take up a language. How about this? If I had more free time, I would take up gardening. So something new. If I had more free time, I would take up painting maybe, you know, something new. Okay, something that you're not doing. So something, you know, new, something you, you don't do, but you would like to do if you had more free time. Okay, good, good, good. All right, Marta says, if I had more free time, I would travel to where? Where, where would you travel to? Yeah, Marco. So Marco says that Silva is the most common name in Brazil, like Smith for American people. We have like Smith, Jones, right? Those are very common names, Jones and Smith. Yeah, so Silva, there's lots of um, Brazilians with their, their family name is Silva. Okay. Oh, Lolly says, if I had more free time, I would take up sewing. Nice. So something that you don't do now, but you would like to in the future. Okay, good. Sewing. So, okay, good job, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. It's time for us to change activities. This was a review from Tuesday. Um, you guys did well on Tuesday, and again today, you're do, you did very well with your sentences. Oh, Uma says, if I had more free time, I would do meditation. That's nice. Meditation is very healthy for you. Yes, I would do. I would take up yoga. If I had more free time, I would take up yoga. I would personally take up yoga. I think I would like to try yoga. If I had more free time, I would take up yoga. Okay, let's change activities because of the clock. Yeah, the, we're always battling against time, so we need to change activities. And our next activity is a worksheet, and actually you can get this worksheet on my YouTube um, homepage. Go to the community tab, and you will see it. I will also put it here on the board, so everyone can see. I'm going to put it on the screen and then I will go full size with it so you will be able to see it without any trouble. Okay, so activity number two is which one is different? 
which one is different. And the topic is children. That's our topic, children. And how we do, if this is your first time, how we do which one is different, I'm going to give you four examples. <clears throat> no, 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 not four examples. Four items. This is an example, okay? I I'm going to give you four items. For example, red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because it is transportation. The other three are colors. Okay, that's how we do it. Which one is different? Bicycle, because it's transportation, right? So that's how we do it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's do number two, which one is different? You can get the worksheet on my YouTube homepage. Go to the community tab and you will see it there. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and there it is right there. And I'm gonna make it larger. Here we go. And like I said, our topic is children. Here's full screen, everybody. We got full screen now, okay. And our number one group word, group one keywords, help, wash, love, a baby bottle. One more time, help, wash, love, a baby bottle. Which one is different and why? So in the chat, please write a sentence telling me which one is different and why. The most important is why. You have to explain yourself in English. You have to explain why you think the one is different. And so that's the challenge, right? Explain yourself in English. That's always the challenge. Kadeen is on the board. Kadeen says, I think a baby bottle because it's not a verb. Yeah, it's a noun. Help is a verb, wash is a verb, love is, love is a verb, but a baby bottle is a noun, and the, the clue is ah, right? So there's a ah, and so the ah is an article, and so the article comes before a noun. So we know baby bottle is a noun because there's a ah. All right, Lolly's on the board. Love, because it's the most important in life. I like it, Lolly. I like it. <laughs> Good air lady. So air lady, air lady, that, that's interesting because your last name is Smith. You're Brazilian, air lady. <laughs> so here we go. We have a Brazilian with the last name Smith. <laughs> Good, good one, air lady. No, I know why. You're married and your husband's last name is Smith. Air lady is married to an American. So that's interesting. <laughs> air lady, what is your maiden name? So what's your, before you were married, air lady, what was your last name before you got married? What was your last name? For example, what's your father's last name? Okay, Alice says, I think love is different because it's a feeling. Okay, nice. Great sentence. I like so far. Very interesting. Nice, nice sentences. Ume says, love is different because everyone loves ch a child or children. So children is the plural form. Child is singular, like one child, and then like two children, three children, four children. So Bumesh, it should be love is different because everyone loves children. Okay, Lolly says wash because there is no E in it. That's right. Help has an E. Love has an E. And bottle has an E, baby bottle, but Wash, there is no E in wash. Very good, Lolly. Sims, 
I think love because it belongs to an emotion or actually it's an emotion. So we don't need belong Sims. So I think you should say, uh, I think love because it's an emotion. Love because it's an emotion. Okay, Farah, a baby bottle because the rest are actions and a baby bottle is a thing. Good, good, good. Samuel, I think love is different because it's a spiritual feeling between you and someone else. Very good. Wasa, or Wafa, sorry. I think wash because it's a personal act, but the others are between two. Very good. Nice one, everyone. Marcos, I think the baby bottle because I can't see hands in the picture. Great, great, great. No wrong answer. It's... Yeah, you're free to say whatever you want to. Troublemaker, I think a baby bottle is different because it is an object. Good, good. Alice says, I think wash is different because it needs water. Yeah. Air Lady, I love, I think love because everything we need to do with love. Okay, yeah, Air Lady. So, um, let's see. I think love because everything we do needs love. How about that? Everything we do needs love. Everything we do needs love. Everything we do needs love. Okay, uh, Nazo Cat. I think love because the others depend on children. Yeah, right? So children need help. Children uh, need help to wash and they need a baby bottle. Very, I like it, Naz, Nazo Cat. Very good. Okay, Merlin, baby bottle because the others are part of the human body. Yes. Lolly, wash because it's important to wash your hands because of COVID-19. Yes, Lolly, a baby bottle because it's a container. Good. Umesh, wash is different. One has touch after washing. Okay, hold on, hold on, Umesh. Wash is different because one has to touch the child after washing his hands. Or how about, okay, I think you have it opposite. So how about um, wash because we need to wash our hands before we touch a child? Marion, I think a baby bottle because it doesn't have a hand sign. <laughs> okay, Air Lady, your maiden name is DeMello, oh, I, uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce correctly, Arajo, Arajo, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Oh, interesting, Arajo from my father, Melo from my mother, very good. So, okay, I guess in Brazil you combine the two last names, interesting. Alice, I think help is different because it will save others. Good. Umesh, I think help because children need help. Good, good, good. Okay. Carry out. I think love because we love doing and making all things. Good, good. Deepak, I think a baby bottle is totally different because it's related to a baby. Okay, where the others can be related to children. Okay, good, good. Okay, good. Thank you, Air Lady. I, Mello, I can pronounce the Mello, but I'm not sure how to pronounce um, your, your father's name. Ara, Aro, Jo, Ara, Jo, Ara, Ho. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore because I, I probably sound terrible pronounce, trying to pronounce your last, your, your mother and father's name. I'm sorry, dear lady. I'm sorry. Pierre, hello. Okay, your lady says, I think love because everything we do, we need love. Yes, yes, yes. Good, air lady. Perfect. Nada, I think a bottle because 
it is a material why others is a vital organ or okay vital not an organ but um part of the human body or <laughs> part of like we use our body you know we help each other we use our hand we wash our hands we love so we that's maybe we you know we we if you love someone you kiss them you use your body you hold their hand if you love them right and so for help wash and love we're using our body but a baby bottle is just a it's a thing yeah okay good one everyone let's go to our second group okay Nora Nora's sick but she's here welcome Nora welcome welcome good good to good to see you Nora okay let's go to group number two Okay, group number two, keywords, a rocking horse, a dinosaur, candy, a pail, and shovel. Which one is different and why? A rocking horse, a dinosaur, candy, a pail, and shovel. Which one is different and why? Lolly says, a candy because it's not a toy. Good. Okay, candy, because you can eat it, yes, <laughs> and it's delicious. Alice, I think candy is different because it's a sweet. Marcos, hmm. Marcos says to Nora, I hope you get better soon. Thank you, Marcos, for saying that to Nora. Okay, Eric, okay. Okay, um, welcome, welcome, Jamila, 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 welcome, welcome. Lolly, a pail and shovel because there are two items. Very good. Oh, thank you, Air Lady. Yeah. Perhaps I could pronounce it if you told me, right? If I could hear your pronunciation, right? I could do it, but... Just reading your your father's name, your mother's name, I'm not sure how to pronounce those names. Okay, I consider candy is different because we should sweeten life. Oh, I like it. Yes, let's sweeten life. Life should be sweeter. I agree. Okay, Samuel, a dinosaur because it's an animal. Sims, I think a dinosaur is different because it's a wild animal. Okay. Lolly, candy because there's no O in it. Rocking horse, there's an O. Dinosaur has an O. Shovel has an O. But there's no O in candy. Yes. You're welcome, Jamala. Be happy. A dinosaur is different because it was a living creature. Yes, it was a living creature. It was. Okay, Learner says, I think candy, because it's sweet. Troublemaker, I think candy is different because every... Uh, okay, everyone, old child tastes too... Okay, how about, okay, because everyone can enjoy it. How about that, Troublemaker? I think candy is different because everyone can enjoy it. Everyone can enjoy it. Rajay, I think candy because it is eaten and the others are toys. So it is eaten and the others are toys. Good. It is, or you can say it is a sweet candy because it is a sweet and the others are toys. Okay, Deepak, I think a dinosaur because it was real. So they're finished now, right? Dinosaurs are finished, they're over, but they were real, right? But not any longer. 
So, well, not in, they're, they're extinct now. So, but they were here on earth, right? But now they aren't. <laughs> Air Lady. Whoa, your name got longer. <laughs> Air Lady's name got longer. <laughs> Okay, Kadeem, I think a rocking horse because children can ride on it. Very good. Umesh, a rocking horse because children enjoy it a lot. Okay, Francesca, I think candy because we can eat it. Good, nada. I think a dinosaur because, well, it was extinct. It is extinct. So extinct means no longer. Right, so you don't need the was right there. So um, extinct means like it's in the past, right? They're, they were, but now they aren't. They were, but now they aren't. So Nada, you could say, I think, I think a dinosaur because it is extinct. Okay, Mylene, hello Mylene. Okay, um, I think it's, okay, I think a rocking horse because it can go to the competition. Well, a rocking horse is a toy. It's just a toy. It looks like a horse, but it's made of wood and the children rock on it. You know, like a rocking chair, but a rocking horse is for like a children. So they, they think they can, um, they can ride or you know they they're acting like they can ride oh that's a good idea air lady yeah google pronunciation that that's a good idea i'll, I'll check it out thank you air. that's right i keep forgetting about that yeah google you can you can hear any pronunciation yeah that is true okay lolly a rocking horse because children can swing on it well we don't say swing um rock on it right swing is like you are in the air. So you're, when you are swinging, your feet are off the ground, like, like swings, you know, like on a playground. Your, your feet are not touching the ground. But a rocking horse, you are rocking back and forth, back and forth, like a rocking chair, right? A rocking chair, you sit down and you can go back, you know, you can rock back and forth. Okay, thanks, Air Lady. Amna, um, candy is different because it has no movement. Yeah. Yeah. Lolly, a dinosaur because it doesn't exist anymore. Good. Okay, Francesca. I think candy because children can play with all the others. Yes, that's right. So we don't play with candy. We eat candy. But children play with a rocking horse. Children play with a dinosaur, and children play with a pail and shovel. Very good. I like it. Yeah, okay, so, um, okay, Air Lady, I think a dinosaur because it used to exist, right? Not any longer, not anymore, but dinosaurs used to exist. They used to exist. Ah, Suma is here. Hello, Suma. Suma says, a dinosaur because it is extinct. Good. Harry says, I think a pail and shovel because there are two things. Good, good, good. Okay, good, Lolly. Okay, well, I'm looking at the clock. I think it's time to change activities. You can, um, if you like the worksheet, you can... Get the worksheet on my YouTube homepage. Go to community and you will see it. Also on my Patreon page where you can support me so I can support you, help me so I can help you. There are um, lots of these worksheets. So if you join my Patreon, you get these every month. Okay, so um, check it out. <laughs> Okay, and all the, the, the links are below. And I think the link it, to my uh, YouTube homepage is there as well. And of course, the link to my Patreon is there. 
and to join the channel is there. All the links are below. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see, Lolly Appel. Good, good, Air Lady. I think a dinosaur because it's extinct. Perfect, Air Lady. Lolly says Appel and Shovel because children can use it on the beach. Yep. <laughs> That's right, Air Lady. You, you have a long name. <laughs> You got a long name. Okay, um, Pierre, I think a pail and shovel because people use use it for construction. Yeah, like kids use the pail and shovel to make sand castles. You know, they, they use it to play in the sandbox or on the beach, right? So kids like playing in the sand and the pail and shovel is fun to use in the sand. So pail and shovel is fun to use in the sand. Okay, good, good. Let's, um, you can't hear me. Um, anybody have trouble hearing me? Okay, let's go to our next activity, shall we? Our next activity is a conversation from my book. Yay, from my book. So let's take, I'm going to take this off the board. Okay, now we're going to do a conversation from my book. And today's conversation is 26. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you, Umesh. Okay, 26. Here it is right here. And what I'm going to do is read the conversation. I want you to listen carefully. And then I will write it on the board, and we will practice it together. We will shadow, we will practice pronunciation, and we will role play, okay? So we're gonna do lots of practice with the conversation. But first, I'm going to read the conversation, so I want you to listen carefully, okay? So here we go. Let's, I'm gonna read the conversation. Please listen carefully. Here we go, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hold on. Harry has a question. Is pail the same as a bucket? Yes, it is. Exactly. Yes, Harry, it is the same. You can say pail or a bucket. A pail, yeah, both same, 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 same. Okay, here we go. Here's the conversation. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. Okay, here we go, one more time. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. I'm happy that you like it. One more time. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna write the conversation on the board. And number three is conversation. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so it starts here, it goes down. Okay, here we go. A. A. Whose bear is this? Whose bear is... Okay, let me see how... Okay, we got this. We got space for this. And that's a question. Whose bear is this? Whose bear is this? It's yours. It's yours. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Whose bear is this? It's yours. A says, Really? 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 Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Whose bear is this? It's yours. 
Really? Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? B says, yes. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Whoops, 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 whoops. Need a D right there. Happy birthday. Okay. Yes, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, A says, thank you very much. 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 Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> And B says, I'm happy that you like it. I'm happy oops, that you like it. I'm happy 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 that you like it. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. One more time. Whose bear is this? It's yours. Really? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. I'm happy that you like it. <laughs> a real bear? No, Lolly. <laughs> it's just a teddy bear. It's a toy. It's a teddy bear. Okay, good, good. Oh, thank you. Um, Karev, Karev, Karev. I'm not sure how to say your name. Karev. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a teddy bear, Harry. Okay, good. It's a teddy. Yes, Karev. Okay, let's, we've been doing this, right? So one more time, let's just go over the pronunciation. Okay, we'll do the pronunciation just a little bit because we've been doing this, yeah? Okay, whose bear is this? Whose bear is this? Whose bear is this? It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Really? 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 Yes, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you like it. 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 Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Um, Ronan, thank you so much, Ronan. I appreciate it. Okay, let's, so we did pronunciation. I, I think the meaning, right, we, you can understand the meaning. Whose bear is this? So, so here's this little girl, right, and maybe there's a bear in a box in the living room, and she's, whoa, whose bear is this? Because she doesn't know, right? It's new. So she's asking, whose bear is this? So, Possessive, who, right, whose, who, which person, who does this belong to? And so, whose bear? So that's possessive, right? So like, um, it's Steve's, right? It's Paul's, it's, it's, it's Kimberly's, right? So you have possess possessive S. So you have possessive S. 
right? Oops, oops, that's not very good. Possessive, and you have the possessive S, right? So we'd say um, Steve's, right? It belongs to Steve, right? It's Steve's. Whose bear is this? It's Steve's, for example. So, so possessive S is this, okay? And um, your, so this is a possessive pronoun. So it belongs to, it's yours, all right? It's yours. It belongs to you. It's yours. And then, really? So she's surprised. Really? And there's a, a question mark. Really? Surprised? And then, um, yes, it's yours. Happy birthday. So it's a birthday present. Yes, it's yours. Happy birthday. It's a birthday present. And then she says, oh, thank you very much, right? Of course, right? Um, she she got the birthday present, so of course she's thanking um, she's thanking B. Thank you very much, right? That's polite. If someone gives you something, you say thank you, of course, right? And then B says, "I'm happy that you like it." So he gave her a birthday present. She's happy, really. Oh boy, I like this teddy bear. And then B says. I'm happy because you like it, right? So if she didn't like it, maybe he would be sad, but he is happy because she likes it, all right? So I'm happy that you like it. You give someone something and they enjoy it, so you get enjoyment because they like it, right? And so that's the thing about giving. Um, a lot of times when you give, you get pleasure from giving, right? So giving is a good feeling, and so... Um, yeah, so he's happy because she likes it, okay? Hussein, thank you very much, Hussein. Hussein Hassan, thank you very much. Okay, um, let's, let's role play, yeah? So I'm going to be A and you're B, A, B, A, B. So we're going to practice saying the conversation together, okay? I'm going to say A, 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 A. You say B, 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 okay? Here we go, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Whose bear is this? Really? Thank you very much. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you very much. I love the teddy bear. Thank you. I love the teddy bear. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Two is we're gonna we're gonna do it three times. So this is the second time. Here we go. Countdown. I'm A. You are B. Five, four, three, two, one. Whose bear is this? Really? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> okay, let's do it again. Third, let's do it for the third time. Three is a charm. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Whose bear is this? Really? Thank you very much. <laughs> Yay! I have a new teddy bear. I have a new teddy bear. Okay, let's switch. Now you are A, I am B. A, B, A, B. You go first. You're A. Okay, here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's yours. Yes! Happy birthday! I'm happy that you like it. <laughs> I'm very, very happy you like the teddy bear I bought for you. Okay, let's do it for the second time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's yours. Yes, happy birthday. I'm happy that you like it. <laughs> okay, here we do. Here we go. Three's a charm. This is the third time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's yours. Yes, happy birthday. I'm happy that you like it. I'm happy that you like it. Okay, good, good, good. We role played. We did the conversation together. Now, I have a question for you, okay? Now, I want you to practice. Evelyn. Evelyn, you are very kind to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Now let's do a pattern together. We're going to use the possessive whose. Okay. I'm just going to erase this. We got possessive, right? We're, we're practicing, practicing possessive. Okay, so um, whose, whose, whose. Whose is this question mark? It's okay. So, for example, we can say, Whose bicycle is this? It's let's do Steve's, for example. It's Steve's. Okay, we need the possessive S, and then whose bicycle. Okay, for example, whose bicycle is this? Oh, it's Steve's. Whose bicycle is this? It's Steve's. Okay, so I want you in the chat to make a little conversation here, A, B conversation. One little, a little bitty short conversation. Yeah, whose bicycle is this? It's Steve's. Okay, so I want you to put a you know, a noun here and then someone's name. So this is a noun. It's a thing. Okay, I want you to put a thing in here and then a, a person's name here, someone's name. Okay, let's practice. Actually, I'm gonna make this better so you can see easier, make it larger. Easier for you to read. Okay, A says, whose is this? Okay, so we're, we're gonna have a thing. I'm, I'm gonna say, for example, bicycle. Okay, and then B says, it's, and for example, um, it's Steve's. Using the possessive S, it's Steve's. Whose bicycle is this? It's Steve's. Okay, here we go. I see. Okay, in the chat, whose thing is this? It's somebody. Okay, here we go. Ronin, thank you very much. Okay, Lolly says, whose car is over there? It's Mark's. Good. Suma, whose book is this? It's Molly's book. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, good, Ronan. It is Mark's. Yeah, that's a possessed. Alice, whose book is this? It's Mark's. Good, good, good. Yes. Whose book is this? It's Mark's. <laughs> okay. Let oh, Saida, hello. Marion says, whose car is this? It's Kim's. Okay, so Mary, we need the possessive, the possessive S, the, the comma, or the apostrophe S, apostrophe S, right? So, okay, pronoun, we can do the pronouns. It's yours, it's mine. Okay, that's good, Lolly. So these are possessive pronouns. So we're not, so instead of saying Steve's, it's his, okay? So we can do that. It's it's yours, it's mine, it's his, it's hers, okay? Ours, it's ours. These are the possessive pronouns. It's yours, it's mine, it's his, it's hers, it's ours, it's theirs. You can do that too. All right, so these are possessives. They belong, the bicycle belongs to Steve. The bicycle belongs to you. The bicycle belongs to me. The bicycle belongs to him. The bicycle belongs to her. The bicycle belongs to us. The bicycle belongs to them. <laughs> but here we're using the possessive. Possessive uh, pronoun, whose bicycle is this? It's yours, it's mine, it's his, 
it's hers, it's ours, it's theirs, it's Steve's, it's Kim's, it's, oh, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what this means. I've never seen this before. Evelyn, I have never seen this, <laughs> the blue with the suitcase. Thank you. Evelyn, Mwah. you get your name up here for being very, very kind. I'm not, I, first time I've seen that type of, I'm not sure if it's a super chat or super sticker or something. Thank you very much. Mwah. Thank you, Evelyn. That is very kind of you. I really, really appreciate it very much. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Oh, whose name tag is this? It's mine. That's good, Alice. Okay, Nora, whose horse is this? It's yours. <laughs> Audio book. Whose doll is this? It's Anne's. Lolly. Oh, very good. Every Thank you. Evelyn and Lolly, very kind. <laughs> Love everyone. Love you. Now, we want the possessive S. Yeah, you got, you got like, here's Steve. And then Steve's the possessive. Don't, don't forget that. Oh, don't forget the S. Okay, the possessive S, apostrophe S. Yes, yes. Lolly, thanks again. Thank you for, Lolly's part of the green team. She's on the green team and she gave extra support. She supports me every month and right now there's extra support. So thank you, Lolly. Thank you so much. Marion says, whose umbrella is this? It's Sandy's, good, good. Harry says, is it common to ask, who does this belong? Who does this book belong to? Instead, of whose book is this? Um. Okay, you would say whose book does it? Okay, mm. who does this belong? Whose book? Who does this book book belong to? That that's not so common, Harry. Like you would say whose book is it? Yeah, that's more common. Whose book is this? Whose book is it? Whose book is it? So it's probably better, whose book is it? Whose book is it? Learner, whose pen is this? It's Sarah's, good. Katie, whose book, or no, whose pencil is this? It's mine. Amna, whose motorbike is this? It's mine. Okay, myself, no, no. So Amna, mine. It's mine. So that's a possessive pronoun. So you can say Amna. Whose motorbike is this? It's Amna's. Lolly, yes, Alice. Lolly is very generous. Also, eh, Evelyn is very kind too. Okay. Suma, yes, Lolly is very kind to me. You're welcome. Lolly, thank you. No, <laughs> I say thank to you. I say thank you to you. Okay, Sims, who's, okay, score. Okay, for that, Sims, who got the, who got an A? So who got an A? So it's not really possessive because the A is like a mark. It's not, you know, so we use with a thing, you know, like, like concrete, you know, you can touch it and see it. Um, we don't really use for a grade, we don't use the possessive. Like we would say, who got an A? Who got an A? Who got an A? So just things, you know, that you can touch and, and see. 
you know, an A is just on a piece of paper. Ronan is on the green team. Wow, today is like, I'm very surprised today. Wow, wow, wow. Today is surprising, wonderful. <laughs> we got great support now. Ronan is now on the green team. Yay, Ronan, your name is green. You are part of the green team. Woo, Ronan, thank you so much. Thank you. Mwah. Ronan is on the green team. Yes. Let's welcome Ronan to the green team. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for your kind support, Ronan. Thank you so much. Okay. Good job, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities, okay? Because we got lots to do. We still have more things to do. Okay. So I think... I'm seeing your sentences. I think everyone's doing well. Whose wallet is this? It's for my wife. Okay, now, um, Rajay, when you say for, that means it's a present. So you, you wouldn't put an apostrophe S. You would, if you said, oh, it's my wife's or my wife's, okay? But when you put for, then you don't have the apostrophe. So you should say, whose wallet is this? It's my wife's. It's my wife's. Okay, Nanda, whose building is this? It's the government's. It's the government's. Okay, Michelle or Pierre, uh, whose flower is this? It's Ben's. That's good. Suma, whose support is more in the class? It's green teams. <laughs> or who's who's got the great support? Who's got... well? Th that doesn't work because um, support isn't a, a thing, okay? So, Suma, we can't, so we have to use it for something that we can hold and touch, okay? So, um, not for support, okay, Suma? Let's, for, for things that we can see and touch and, you know, hold, things we can hold. <laughs> Whose wallet is this? It's John's. It's empty. <laughs> Ronan, welcome, welcome. Okay, Brazil is strong. We have lots of Brazilians on the green team, Ronan. Lots of Brazilians on the green team. Kayleen, whose cell phone is this? It's Marco's. Thank you, Ronan. Okay, you're welcome, Raja. Umesh, whose gun is this? It's John's. Leonardo, good evening. Okay, Harry, whose channel are you watching? I'm watching Mark's. Good, Harry. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Lolly, whose books are these? They are theirs. Yeah. So you see everyone, Lolly used possess or the uh, Lolly used the um, plural form. So more than one. So these are just like one thing. So whose bicycle is this? This is for one, but Lolly has um, more than one. So she made that plural. So whose books are these, right? So, okay, that's good, Lolly. So, so for, for more than one, I'm going to write it here. I'm going to go over here. So, for more than one, plural, more than one, okay, so whose books are these right one is this is this for singular but here we have books so they it's plural so um so they are what did what did Lana say they are theirs okay so um they are 
And then she used the, the um, pronoun. So they are theirs. Okay. Good. So we can use for more than one, right? But then we have to change it to they are. Okay. So you can see. Wow, wow, what's happening? First time I'm seeing this. Sims. Wow, today is a, a very special day for me. Sims. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Wow, I'm I'm very I'm very shocked. I'm I'm very shocked. Very happy, of course. <laughs> I this this hasn't happened in a long time. So cheers, cheers. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. Wow, so we got we got Ronan, part of the green team. Evelyn, thank you. Lolly, thank you. Sims, thank you very, very much. It's a good day for me. <laughs> it's a good day for me. Okay, good, good. Wow, Sims, wow, that's too, Sims, that, that's too generous. Oh boy. Sims, that is, wow, wow, wow. Um, Sims, can I do something for you? Do, you? do you have a special question or something? Something, do you have a special request? That is very, very um, generous of you. It really is. Wow. That, that's a lot. So, Woo. Sims, um, thank you so much. That is very, very generous of you. Wow. Thank you. Seriously. Seriously. Thank you so much. Ronan. Wow. This is, wow. I, I don't, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Ronan. Um, Ronan. Ronan. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Um, yeah, so. Wow, look at that. Ah, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, well, I'm, we got it. Okay, we got to change activities. Um, thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm speechless right now. So I don't, let's just go to the next activity, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm beyond. It, it's Ronald. Okay, Ronald. That's much better. Okay. Ronald, that is, um, yeah, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> I have a friend named Ronald. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I gotcha. Ronald. Okay, yeah. Do you prefer Ron or Ronald? Okay. Let's go to our next activity. I'm... I'm shocked right now. Oh, and actually the poll. No, no, no. Y yeah, no, not yet. We're not ready for the poll yet. Okay. Actually, we are. Let let's do the worksheet. I'm 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 all confused now because of this. I'm all like confused right now because of you guys. Very, very kind of you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, let's go to the worksheet now. And the idiom, fall in love. Okay, so that's our, our idiom today. Fall in love. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, Lolly, thank you. I'm, yeah, I don't know what to say. Ava is here. Hello, Ava. Ava, mwah. welcome, Ava. Good to see Ava in the house. Kara, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Too much love. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with your love, everyone. Okay, here we go. This is our idiom, fall in love. And that means to begin to love. So you begin to love, you fall in love, that's the beginning. Yeah, so falling in love is the beginning, right? And so you begin to love someone, so 
you fall in love, and then you continue um, building the relationship, okay? So the first thing that happens is you fall in love, and then you, you take that love and you make it bigger, okay? So you take the love, so you, the first love, the first, it begins, you fall in love, that's the beginning, and then you take that love and make it larger, make it bigger. Yeah, okay. So um, these, it's an idiom, fall in love, and we have examples from the green team. Examples from the green team. Here are the examples. Sonara sentence. Everyone says you only fall in love once, but that's not true. Everyone says you only fall in love once, but that's not true. Marion sentence. I fall in love once every 40 years. <laughs> okay, Marion. I fall in love once every 40 years. Lolly's example. Romeo and Juliet fell in love at first sight. Romeo and Juliet fell in love at first sight. Air Lady's sentence. It's easy to fall in love with the first cute puppy you see. <laughs> it's easy to fall in love with the first cute puppy you see. Fabricio sentence. What did you do to make her fall in love? What did you do to make her fall in love? Rita, her sentence. Let him who has never fallen in love cast the first stone. Let him who has never fallen in love cast the first stone. Julia, her sentence. The prince fell in love with Cinderella when he saw her at the ball. The prince fell in love with Cinderella when he saw her at the ball. Ava sentence. Ava sent. What? Hold on a sec here. Okay, candy. Okay, Ava sentence. I have never forgotten when I first fell in love with my husband. I have never forgotten when I fell in love with my husband. Miley, her sentence. The narcissist fell in love with his shadow. The narcissist fell in love with his shadow. Candy, I saw you and I fell in love with you. I saw you and I fell in love with you. Um, okay, Sims, some country girls should not fall in love with. If it happens, she should... I don't know, Sims. Ah, I don't know about that, Sims. Okay, so let's let's talk about the meaning of these sentences, shall we? Wow, Roni, or Ronald. Sorry, Ronald. Oh, you have to go to sleep. Okay, um, Ronald. You very wow, very very generous. Mwah. Ronald, thank you so much for um, your, your, on the, like, yeah, so Ronald, thank you so much today, and I really, really appreciate everything you've done, and um, welcome, welcome, Ronald. Please come back soon, okay? Good night, Ronald, good night. Thank you again. Mwah. Thank you. Okay. Let's, let's talk about the meaning of these sentences, okay? Here we go. So, Sonara says, everyone says you only fall in love once, but that's not true, right? So, you can, you can love again. If you, if, for example, if you lost a love, you can, you can do it again, right? So, if you, if you lost, you can do it again. Yeah. So, Ronald, um, welcome to the green team, buddy. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, it's late for you. You're in Brazil. So, it, it, it's late for, for Ronald. Okay. 
that was Sonara. Okay, Marion, I fell in love once. I fall in love once every 40 years. So <laughs> that, that, that's good. So maybe uh, Marion uh, fell in love at 40 and then 80. <laughs> that, that can happen, right? For sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lolly, her um, sentence, Romeo and Juliet fell in love at first sight. So that's from Shakespeare, and it's a very famous love story, and it has a tragic ending, right? So um, it was, it's Romeo and Juliet, it's a, a story about forbidden love, and so it's very, it's a tragic ending. So it's, tragic means, you know, it, it, it the ending, ha it was, it ended in death, right? So it's tragic, it ended in death. Okay, Air Lady, her, her sentence, it's easy to fall in love with the first cute puppy you see. That's right, so um, maybe, you know, you're, you're thinking about you want a dog and so you go visit puppies and it's like, oh, I love that puppy, the first one you see, but maybe it's not best <laughs> to, to, to get the first puppy you see. But it's hard um, not to, right? Yeah, so Marion, once and for all, so that, that's a little confusing to me. So um, Marion, once and for all, so I know what you're, you mean. So like Marion found love and that's like Mar Marion is content with love, um, not looking for love again. So um, how about once and uh, I'm, I'm thinking, Mary, there's, there must be a, a better way, an, another way for that meaning. So once and for all, I'm a little confused with that expression um, for this situation, right? So you say, Marion says, I fell in love. No, I fall in love every 40 years, once and for all. So how about I fell in love 40 years once and for all? Or let's don't do years. How about this, Marion? I fell in love once and for all. That, that's good. I fell in love once and for all. That, that's, we don't need 40 years. The 40 years is, that's what's confusing me, Marion. So I fell in love once and for all. That, that works good. I fell in love once and for all. I fell in love once and for all. So, so Marion's found the love and it's good for life. Okay. Okay, we did air light. Okay, Fabricio, what did you do to make her fall in love? So maybe in, in this situation, Fabricio is talking to his friend, like, how did you, she's such a beautiful woman. She's such a wonderful woman. How, how did she fall in love with you, right? So, okay, good, Mary. And, and so um, Fabricio, wait, you, how did she, she's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's a, a good person. How did she fall in love with you? So it's kind of a joke, right? Like she, she's too good for you, right? She, she's, you, you can't get someone that good, right? So she's too good for you. <laughs> All right. Rita, let him who has never fallen in love cast the first stone. So that's based on the Bible and like, Jesus said, um, let him who cast the first, let him who has never sinned cast the first stone. So, so it's saying if, you know, um, we all have sinned, right? And here Rita is using, um, we all fall in love, right? So everyone finds love and um, yeah. And so I, I think that's true. We all can find love, right? We all can find love. And Julia says the prince fell in love with Cinderella when he first saw her at the ball, right? So, you know, that's this famous story of Cinderella. She has 
three wicked step, she has a wicked stepmom and three wicked sister, stepsisters and they don't like Cinderella and the prince comes, or the prince has a ball, a royal ball. He invites all the single women to the ball and, but Cinderella has, she doesn't have a dress and she has to clean, but there are animals help her get a, a dress and they turn a pumpkin into a stagecoach. Oh no, a fairy godmother comes. A fairy godmother comes and helps Cinderella with a, a, a beautiful dress. She changes a pumpkin into a stagecoach and gives her these glass slippers, but the glass slippers uh, at midnight, or she has to, she has to leave the ball before midnight, or everything turns back to original, like the, the coach becomes a pumpkin, her dress disappears, but the glass slipper, she leaves one glass slipper, the prince goes around, he falls in love with Cinderella at the ball, but then she disappears, right, because it's 12, and then he goes around to all the the women to try on the glass slipper and it fits Cinderella and they get married and they live happily ever after. <laughs> That's the story of Cinderella. You, you know that, right? Okay. That was Julia. Ava, I have never forgotten when I first fell in love with my husband. And Ava is, she's been married to her husband for a long time. They are still deeply in love and she has never forgotten about the first time. So that is fantastic. Ava has a beautiful marriage. Miley, the narcissist fell in love with his shadow. So a narcissist is someone who loves themselves, right? So if you love yourself, you are a narcissist, right? So you should like not love yourself so much. <laughs> I mean, you should love yourself. You want to, um, you know, you want to be a good person. You want to exit, you want your body to be healthy, you know, you should exercise to keep your body fit. You should, of course, take a shower to keep clean, but don't, don't love yourself too much, right? And so um, a narcissist has a, a big ego, like I'm, I'm the best, I'm beautiful, I'm, I'm number one, right? And so they're a narcissist. And so the narcissist fell in love with his shadow, right? So your shadow, right? Right there's a shadow. And so, oh, I love that shadow. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty funny. And um, Candy says, I saw you and I love you. Or I fell in love, sorry. I saw you and I fell in love with you. So that's kind of like, um, you know, love at first sight. Like, oh, I saw her and I fell in love with her. Or I saw him and I fell in love with him. So that's love at first sight. Love at first sight. Harry says, what is the synonym or the um, synonym of ball in Julia's sentence? Um, no, it's not. Oh, oh, so, okay, okay. A, 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 a ball is like a dance party. Okay, Harry? So that's a good question, a ball, right? And so, Julia, that's a good question. So, the prince fell in love with Cinderella when he saw her at the ball. So ball here means a party, a dance party. So there's music, there's food and dancing. And so a ball is a big like dance party. And so they call that a ball. Okay, good question, Harry. Good question. Okay. Now it's time for you to use fall in love by yourself, okay? So I want you in the chat to use um, fall in love right there. Fall in love means to begin to love. So please, in the chat, write sentences using fall in love. Fall in love. Oh, okay. I have a question here in the chat. Teacher, I want to learn English, but it's so difficult for me. 
I just know the basic. Um, so, actually, we're going to do, um, after this, we're going to watch a video, 10 Very Short Conversations, and there you'll see sentence and a picture, and I think that's a good way for you to practice, okay? So, please wait. Can you, can you wait? And when we finish this idiom, fall in love, please watch the video together with us, okay? So um, please don't, don't give up, be patient, do your best, okay? So right now we are writing sentences using fall in love, yeah? And so we can see Umesh right there. Umesh says, um, I fall in love with, I fell in love with English. So that, Umesh, that should be past tense. Fell in love. So we have, so fall in love is present tense. And fell in love is past tense. Okay, present, fall in love, fell in love. So, so Umesh, you should have, yeah, okay, good, Umesh. Okay, um, Oh, your name. Velour? Good evening. Yeah, if you love yourself too much, you're a narcissist. <laughs> don't, don't be a narcissist. Be humble, right? So, um, humble and then narcissist. So, so humble is, you know, you, you, you are a little shy, you're humble, you don't take yourself too seriously, you, you don't, uh, it's hard to explain, but humble, so it's good to be humble. It's not good to be a narcissist. It's good to be humble. That means, yeah, you make mistakes, you know, you become, oh, that I'm wrong, my mistake, I'm sorry, that's being humble, right? So it's good to be humble. Okay, Suma, I fell in love with my husband eight years ago. Very good. Marion, I look at her and I think I'm... Oh, oh okay. Okay, Marion. I look at her and think I'm in love again. That, that's... How about I fell in love again? So... I, I looked at her and I fell in love again. How about, okay, Mary, we want to put that in the past. I looked at her and fell in love again. I looked at her and fell in love again. That's a good sentence. Sims, I fell in love with Elvis when I was a teenager. Elvis Presley, my mother loves Elvis too. Good, good, Sims. I fell in love with Elvis when I was a teenager. How old are you, Sims? Because <laughs> Elvis is a long, he's, he's, he's gone now. But I, great music. I still, I still like Elvis. Okay, Zaili, I fell in love for the first time two years ago. Good. Okay, Zaili. I fell in love two years ago for the first time. I fell in love two years ago for the first time. Okay, um, Valor, Valor, I fall in love to, okay, I fell in love with my beautiful family. I fell in love with my beautiful family. Or like, um, Zevalor, I fell in love and now I have a beautiful family. That, how about that? I fell in love and now I have a beautiful family. I fell in love, now I have a beautiful family. One more time. I fell in love and now I have a beautiful family. Umesh, I fell in love with nobody. How about that? I haven't fell in, I haven't, I haven't fallen, I haven't fallen in love yet. I haven't fallen in love yet. Here we go. Umesh, I haven't fallen in love yet. I haven't 
fallen in love yet. I'm going to write that in the chat. That's, that's good. That's a good sentence. So I haven't fallen in love yet. Okay. I haven't fallen in love yet. Okay, Umesh. Suma, I fell in love with my husband eight years ago. Okay, past. We don't need past, Suma. I fell in love with my husband eight years ago. I fell in love with my husband eight years ago. So, Suma, don't say sorry. Don't say sorry. Do not say sorry. Ava, fall in love is very important part of our lives. Yeah, so to fall in love is very important for our life. Okay, Ava, one more time. Um, to fall in love is very important for our life. To fall in love is very important for our life. Okay, Lerna, I fell in love when I was 19 years old. Good sentence. <laughs> Uma says, I fell in love with English, physics, <laughs> and mathematics. Okay, good, good. Okay, Sims, we're like the same. I'm 59. We're like the same age. Okay. Alice, I forgot our... Okay, let's see, Alice. I forgot how to fall in love with my husband in which... Oh, okay, Alice. Okay, I forgot when I fell in love with my husband. Okay. I forgot when I fell in love with my husband. I forgot when I fell in love with my husband. Oh, Harry. Harry, do you have experience? <laughs> Harry says, be careful if you fall in love with someone because um, it can hurt you. It can hurt you. That's right. Maybe Harry has experience. Harry says, be careful when you fall in love with someone because it can hurt. Marion, I looked at her and, and fell in love again. Okay, okay, hold on. Marion, very, very. I looked at her and fell in love again. So don't need I'm. And you want to put that in the past tense, right? Because I looked at her and fell in love again. So... Just want to change a couple words there, Marion. So one more time. I looked at her and fell in love again. Fell in love again. Oh, Umesh, very good. To fall in love needs some courage. Yeah. You can't be too shy. Don't be shy. Good, 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 Umesh. Yeah, don't be too shy. Yes, to fall in love one needs courage. How about one needs courage? O N E, like some for 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 people, right? Oh, okay, Amna, I fell in love forty-five years ago. Okay, Amna, I fell in love forty-five years ago. I fell in love forty-five years ago. Umesh, to fall in love, one needs some courage. To fall in love. One needs some courage. Okay, Yasvlor, or um, Valor, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Valor, um, I fell in love and now I have a beautiful family. Good, good, good. So, okay, um, Valor, you want to put that in the past tense, fell in love. Okay, so I fell in love and now I have a beautiful family. Okay, good, Umesh. Lolly, my friend Bob always falls in love with girls. <laughs> okay, so good, good. You just need the S, falls in love, because repeated action, right? So my, my friend Bob always falls in love with girls. <laughs> That's a good one, Lolly. I like it. I like it. Uh, okay, good. I, I only fall in love with English. Okay, Marion, there's something sick about falling in. Uh, no, I, w I don't know. Don't say sick. 
there's something about wonderful about falling in love. There's something, let's do wonderful, Marion. There is something wonderful about falling in love. That's a good sentence. Don't use sick. Use wonderful. Okay, Marion? There is something wonderful about falling in love. Okay, Alice, I forgot when I fell in love with my husband. Good. Okay, actually, okay, Hernando, hello. Hernando is here. Hernando says, I fell in love 26 years ago. Nice. Marion, I looked at her and fell in love again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, Marion, one more. You need the past tense, E, not A. I looked at her, that's good, I, and fell in love again. Fell in love again. What happens when two men fall in love with the same girl? There's a fight. <laughs> Lolly asks, that's a very common, that happens. <laughs> so Lolly, her question, what happens when two men fall in love with the same girl? There is a fight. <laughs> Okay. Yes, good, Marion. There's something wonderful about falling in love. Yes, I do, um, Zaili. Yes, I do. I have videos about the future perfect. Check it. Go, go to my YouTube channel. Um, enter future perfect, and you will see there's some sentences there. Or, or I mean, um, videos. Um, a mother falls in love with her baby. Yeah. Ah, uh, Air Lady. I have fallen in love many times. <laughs> okay, Air Lady. I have fallen in love many times. I have fallen in love many times. Okay, good, good. Well, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities. And actually, this worksheet is on my YouTube homepage. So um, you go to my YouTube homepage, go to community tab, and you will see this sheet done by the green team. And here on the top, you have example sentences. Yeah, there are example. And then here you write your own sentences. Yeah, so it's good practice for you. So here, right? So there are examples from the green team, and then you write your own sentence down here. Sentences, lots of practice, yeah? So you can get this worksheet on my YouTube homepage right there, and you can practice on your own, okay? So good job, everyone. It's time for us to change activities. Um, I'm looking at the clock. We have to change activities. Okay, Harry has a question. Even though you always say that you really hate me, if I want, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the poll. We got to look at the poll, everyone. The blue. I forgot about the poll here. Let's do it. Oh, 132 voted. Great. Mwah. All right, all right. Today was a good number, 132. Yay. Okay. This is just a yes and no. This is, it's not really many choices here, just two choices. Uh, and the question, do you remember the first time you fell in love? Do you remember the first time you fell in love? 73% said, yes, I do. 27% said, no, I don't. I don't remember. I forgot my first love. Okay. So, okay. Zaili says, yes, I remember. All right. So do you remember the first time you fell in love? Harry says, yes, I do. Zaili says, yes, I remember. Who else? Do you remember or did you forget? Do you remember or did you forget? Uma says, yes, I do. Do you remember or did you forget? Do you remember or did you forget? Ah. Uh, oh, Air Lady falls in love for bread and butter. I like it too. <laughs> okay, Air Lady's in the kitchen right now. Yeah, so Harry says, when I was in elementary school. Yeah, I think me too. Actually, I do remember, and I remember her name. 
Maria, Maria Santa Mora. Santa, her, her, Maria Santa Mora, maybe her last name was Santa Mora. Maria Santa Mora, my first love. <laughs> I remember, I remember. Okay, learner, yes I do. Of course, so Uma says yes, I do, but it was a failure, of course. Your first love is usually, doesn't last, right? First love does not last, usually. Amna, yes I do. There you go, Marion. I looked at her and fell in love again. Perfect, Marion. I like that sentence. Good job. Santa Maria, maybe, maybe, maybe Zaili, but Maria, Santa Maria, no, I don't think it was Santa Maria. No, it wouldn't be Maria Santa Maria. I think it was Mora, Santa Mora. Oh, I have to, I, I forgot. That was many, many years ago for me. I was a, just, just a little kid. <laughs> I was just a little kid, but I she was my neighbor. Okay, Ava, yes I do. Harry, where is she now? If you don't mind to answer, I don't know where she is now, Harry. I don't know. I lost contact. We're, we were in the same high school. We, we, we went to school together. But after high school, I lost contact with her. So I don't know where she is now. And I left. I'm in Japan. So I left California. I left Los Angeles. I'm in Japan now. So I don't know what she's doing. But I remember her father, her mother. We we're neighbors. Okay, good job. Okay, it's time for the video, everyone. Okay, so let's watch a video together, all right? Here we go. All right, so we're going to watch a video. And then... Um, we're going to talk about the meaning and we can practice some sentences, okay? So let's watch a video and talk about the video after. And um, part one, please say the sentences with me together. And then part two, we're going to um, role play, all right? So I will say, you know, I will do the, I think it's blue sentences, you do the white sentences, and then we will change. So. Part one, we do it together. Part two, we take turns. Okay, so part one, together. Part two, take turns. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. So let's go ahead, shall we? I'm going to make it full screen here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's do it together. Ah, hold on. It's hard. Okay. Your order is ready. Your order is ready. Your order is ready. Okay. Hold on, let me fix it a little bit. It's a little too big. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it just needs a little more adjustment here. Okay, guys, we gotta adjust it a little bit more. Okay, that's better, I think. Okay, so your order is ready. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. Your order is ready. All right, thanks. Okay, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Blue, how about you? Blue, how about you? Blue. How about you? What's your favorite color? Blue, how about you? Thanks, please come back soon. Thanks, please come back soon. Thanks, please come back soon. <laughs> I don't think so, Lolly. <laughs> I don't know if she watches my videos. See you, see you, see you. Thanks, please come back soon. See you. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What 
a beautiful day. Perfect for a picnic. Perfect for a picnic. Perfect for a picnic. What a beautiful day. Perfect for a picnic. Hello, this is BJ Travel. Hello, this is BJ Travel. Hello, this is BJ Travel. I would like to plan a trip. I would like to plan a trip. I would like to plan a trip. Hello, this is BJ Travel. I would like to plan a trip. Do you live in a house? Do you live in a house? Do you live in a house? No, I live in an apartment. No, I live in an apartment. No, I live in an apartment. Do you live in a house? No, I live in an apartment. Make a right at the first street. Make a right at the first street. Make a right at the first street. Here, here, here. Make a right at the first street. Here. Open wide, open wide, open wide. How is this? How is this? How is this? Open wide. How is this? I hate roller coasters. I hate roller coasters. I hate roller coasters. Me too. Me too. Me too. I hate roller coasters. Me too. I can help the next in line. I can help the next in line. I can help the next in line. Thanks. 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 I can help the next in line. Thanks. Okay, let's do it together. So I'm going to I'm going to just roll the video now. Okay? So we're just going to do what the video has. Here we go. Let's do it together. I will go first. I will be the blue sentences. And you will go second. You will be the white sentences. Your order is ready. What's your favorite color? Thanks. Please come back soon. What a beautiful day. Hello, this is BJ Travel. Do you live in a house? Make a right at the first street. Open wide.
I hate roller coasters. I can help the next in line. Okay, Lama, you're very welcome. Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the blue sentences, and I will go second. I will be the white sentences. All right, thanks. Blue, how about you? Uh, hold on, Harry. See you. Okay, hold on. Uh, we'll explain after. Perfect for a picnic. I would like to plan a trip. Okay, Lama. No, I live in an apartment. Goodbye, Lama. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Here? This street? Here? This street? How is this? Me too. Thanks. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, um, okay, Harry had a question. So his question was, um, let's go back here. So this is a dentist, okay, Harry? So this is a dentist, and so um, for this situation, yeah, so the dentist, like open your mouth wide, right? So I need to see all your teeth, Please open wide. And so that means, you know, open your mouth, um, like open wide. So the dentist wants to look inside your teeth, right? So like open wide, ah, right? So it really, so Harry asks, is this a common expression? So it really depends on the situation. So if you need to look in someone's mouth, open wide, ah, uh, so like wide open, wide open. So. So it depends on the situation, Harry. So yeah, so let's go over some of the meaning of these sentences, shall we? Okay, so, um, okay, your order's ready. All right, thanks, right? So, so this man, he ordered coffee at a coffee shop. And so she's saying, oh, your order, your coffee is ready. Maybe your order, it could be a sandwich. May sandwich and, and coffee, and then he's happy. All right, thanks. So he's happy to get his coffee. He's 
happy to get his order. So he's saying, all right, thanks. And then, uh, okay, what's your favorite color? It's blue, how about you, all right? So I think you guys understand this. What's your favorite color? And then, um, how about you? So the person asked, um, how was your, what's your favorite color? And then, and then the person says blue. And then, how about you? What is your favorite color? Oh, open widely. No, we don't open wide. No, we don't use widely. No. No, Harry. Okay. Um, so this is the cashier, the clerk. The clerk says, thanks, please come back soon, right? So the clerk wants, you know, the customers to come back. So please come back soon, right? So come back tomorrow, <laughs> please come back, right? And then she says, see you. So meaning, yes, I will be back. See you, meaning I will see you again. So when you say see you, that means you will see each other again. So she will be back. Okay, and then um, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It's a beautiful day. And then, uh, oh yeah, it, perfect for a picnic. So this is perfect, perfect picnic weather, right? So the day is perfect for a picnic to eat outside. Have lunch outside. It's perfect. It's perfect for having lunch outside. Okay, hello, this is BJ Travel. So that's the name of the travel company. And then the caller, I would like to plan a trip. So, so let's plan a trip. I wanna go to Europe. Let's, let's make plans. Okay. Do you live in a house? No, I live in an apartment. Do you live in a house? No, I live in an apartment. Marwa, you are very, very late. We're almost finished. Okay, here, make a right at the first street. So the, the next street, the, the, the upcoming street, make a right, and then the driver. Here, this one? So here, confirming, um, is this the right street here? Hello, Corey, Mwah. kisses for you. Honey, hello, honey. Okay, here, the dentist says, open wide, open your mouth as far as you can. I want to see all your teeth. <laughs> and then the, 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 the client, the, the, the patient, how is this? Is this open enough? Is this good enough? <laughs> okay, and then, I hate roller coasters, me too. So. They are not enjoying the roller coaster. No, they are not enjoying it. They're maybe a little scared. <laughs> okay, I can, I can help the next in line. So the next person, please step forward and then says, thank you, thanks. Okay, that was our video. 10 very short conversations. Yeah, right here. Right there, 10 very short conversations. Okay, well, we're here two hours. Thank you, everyone. Mwah. Thank you so much for your time. Today has been a wonderful day. I can't believe it. Very generous. Evelyn, thank you so much. Mwah. Evelyn, very, very kind. Lolly, thank you. Mwah. Lolly, you're on the green team. You support me. You give me more support. Evelyn, too. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sims. Thank you, buddy. Very kind of you today. Thank you, Sims. Ronald, welcome to the green team. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Mwah. Yeah, so Ronald, part of the green team and extra support. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, I will be back. Today's Friday. I'll be back here tomorrow, but at 3 p.m. So tomorrow at 3 p.m., so let me write that on the board here so you can see. So tomorrow is June 11th, 3 p.m. Japan time. So I will be back here.
tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I hope to see you. And actually, we got lots of, I, I need to take a picture of the whiteboard. We got people here very kind to me. And we got, we got a conversation here. We got some examples of the conversation, right? You made, you made sentences based on the, um, the conversation in the book, yeah? So let me take a picture. I need to get my camera. Hold on, I gotta get my phone, it's right here. I'm gonna take a picture of the whiteboard, I always do that. And I put the, um, white, the picture of the whiteboard on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. The link is in the descriptions below. So you can check out all the whiteboards. I need to take a picture, you can't see me but you can hear me. All right, here we go, let's count down. Let me get back. There's a lot on the whiteboard here today. Okay, here we go. Count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. I will upload it later today to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you could check it out anytime you want. Lolly says, join the green team. Yes, thank you so much. Mwah. Yes, there it is. Join the green team. Help me so I can help you. Support me so I can support you. We have lots of friendly green people. You can see them. Their names are in green and you could join us. <laughs> All right. And also we did my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. And here they are. And you could get them at Amazon.com. They are in the descriptions below. Yes, Air Lady, it will be, I always do that. It's at the end of the month, okay? The last Sunday in the month, I'm in Japan. So the last Sunday in the month, you will see it, okay, Air Lady? So it's not for a few more weeks, okay? All right, everyone, thank you so much. Let's say goodbye together, shall we? Let's do it together. Oh, Zaili, you are very, very welcome. I appreciate it, Zaili. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Anna, thank you, thank you. Everyone, thank you. You're very, very kind. Um, Evelyn, Lolly, Sims, Ronald, everyone, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Japan time. Okay, tomorrow, Saturday, 3 p.m. Japan time. Okay, and um, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Okay, let's count down together. And um, I hope to see you tomorrow. If I don't, have a good weekend. Uh, smile, stay safe, peace and love, all right? So um, good, Harry, I'll see you tomorrow, Harry. Okay, let's count down together. Okay, let's count, count down together to say goodbye. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Peace and love. Stay safe. Smile. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.